story, but first time we came here in, in 2002, I, I, we had the afternoon off, and Sarah and I went, popped around a few places, you know, and um, I ended up buying a, like a Willie Nelson poster, you know, like a song but you know, 22 and Canadian, like, oh my god, Willie Nelson poster. Too, but really, my grandpa was a huge Willie Nelson fan. And I, so I, I told the story on Instagram, but for those that don't look at social media anymore, good for you. And congrats. And, um, but when my mom, or when we started playing music, my mom made us go over to my grandparents and play for them. We were 16 and uh, 15. And, you know, they seemed excited. You know, they were country and western people, but, you know, we were there with the acoustic guitar, we were given her in, in the living room. And, they both looked pleased, but at the end, my mom said, what do you think, mom and dad, what do you think? My grandma was like, oh, they're great. But my grandpa turned, and he said, oh, no Willie Nelson. And, uh, <laughs> but over the next couple of years as we developed, um, I think he thought what we were doing you know, was actually really cool. And right out of school, we got signed, and um, we did a few demos, and then we got dropped. And it was a blessing. Um, because we weren't ready, you know, we needed time to develop and we signed a major, there was no time. And so we went to my grandpa, we asked him to borrow money. Uh, we borrowed $10,000 from him, we made an album called Under, Under Feet Like Ours. <laughs> it's not that good, but okay. Uh, <laughs> but pre- <laughs> okay, hashtag pre is great. But, um, <laughs> but we were really proud of it. We were really proud, you know, because we'd sort of been able to school and uh, music was the one thing that really kind of pulled us from like a very foggy future that we weren't sure what it was going to look like. And uh, so my grandpa playing against the money was a really big deal. I remember Sarah and I at Rivers like fighting, crying in the basement, we were so stressed out. $10,000 was like one billion dollars when you're, you know, that age. And my mom was like, you're going to pay him back. Out, just like working through her own financial trauma with my grandfather, but through us and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that cutty, yeah. Then <laughs> <laughs> we made the record, massive it, you know, showed up on our doorstep, opened up the box, took the CD out, so very proud. We went on tour, and by the time we got to where my grandpa lived in Calgary, we had the ten thousand dollars paid him back. <laughs> He said, I'm, I'm really surprised, and then he said, I should have tried to get interest. Very obsessed with money. But, uh, but then he gave us another loan to invest in merchandise on, for the tour, and uh, we paid all that back right away, too. And, and uh, he, uh, when I came home in 2002, this was like two years later, with the poster, he was really excited. He, they were farmers, and they'd spent most of their winters traveling around. They'd been to every state, and he loved, 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 loved Nashville. And, uh, those kinds of things, like, you know, going to LA, he just was always like, have you been to Pasadena? There's a street in Pasadena, and your grandma and I used to go to this burger place, and he didn't really give a shit, but we came here, and he was like, oh, where did you play? And he said, we played at the Rhino, and he was very excited. And he hung that brilliant old scene poster up in his office, and I was the one that unpinned it and took down when he died, and uh, this isn't a sad story, he was pretty, he was like an asshole at the end. <laughs> But his toughness, his, his toughness is probably because of his tenacity. We got that from him, so I'm to this one to him. But also to you for having such an amazing music city and, and inspiring city.